And this time we're giving a special shout out from us to the boys and girls at the Signal and Intelligence Response Service, better known as SIRS. Why not? They're going to be listening anyway. They're listening to everything. They probably know that you're listening to this show right now. But don't worry, we're not going to say anything bad about a massive, unaccountable spy organization that uses its powers to stifle dissent and shut down free speech. Instead, we're going to look at how SIRS became so powerful. And as usual, we'll keep everyone's names and locations secret so SIRS doesn't come looking for them. Charles is an expert in the dark arts of surveillance who worked to set up democratic media in post-communist states. How did it go so wrong in Britain? You know, we're looking at all the wrong things when we look at Britain's crisis. There's a lot of uh, concentration on data and how that's been used and, and manipulated. And what we haven't looked at is the power structures and the profit that lies behind this. For example, if we examine what actually happened, you know, there's a, there's a company that's really very interested in uh, selling passports and making it easy to uh, provide visas for investment and so on. And historically, throughout the world they've been working with this big data manipulation company in order to overthrow governments and then suddenly all the chickens came home to roost <laughs> 